Just because it makes you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean it has to change. Jesus was a white man too. The biggest problem I got with Christianity, man, as long as you got black people worshiping a white Jesus, you will never ever truly rebel against your oppressors because when you see them, you see God. Hello, I'm Jerome Gay Jr., pastor and author of The Whitewashing of Christianity, A Hidden Past, A Hurtful Present, and A Hopeful Future. You know, I've had countless conversations with people who think that Christianity is a religion of oppression, a religion that promotes slavery, and quite frankly, a white man's religion. This is largely due in part to imagery and iconography that presents Christianity in a monolithic way. So I decided to write about this because this is a growing concern among people who are not sure if they want to trust Yeshua in saving faith. And so we break this up into three parts. First is a hidden past. I want to look at the contributions of Africa, which often are ignored instead of accentuated. And I want to highlight the contributions of African theologians, African martyrs, and African philosophers. After doing that and defining whitewashing, we're going to look at a hurtful present, one in which people have internalized whitewashing and have embraced an identity of inferiority. And then thirdly, though, we don't stop there. We end with a hopeful future. After defining whitewashing, unpacking the effects of whitewashing from liberation theology to self-hatred, we'll end with this beautiful reality that God has used all types of people in his plan of redemption. We'll highlight what Africa has done, we'll highlight the black and brown presence in the Bible, but most importantly, we will highlight the truth of the gospel, that Yeshua invites everyone, and at the foot of the cross, the playing field is level. So I hope that you'll buy my book today, The Whitewashing of Christianity, A Hidden Past, A Hurtful Present, and A Hopeful Future.